If you're one of those people who thinks the Nissan Leaf is just a little underdone on the performance front, this could be the solution. Welcome to Nissan's top secret grand drive testing facility outside of Tokyo, where we will be testing their new EV concept. Now, it doesn't have a name yet, but it does have twin motors, one at each axle, and that means the kind of outputs that get the heart beating just a little bit faster. There's a new suspension tune as well, and some really clever high-tech driving aids that are supposed to make you a better and faster driver. Now make no mistake, this is the future of Nissan's EV tech. So let's go see how it measures up. But before we get to all of that, if you're watching this on YouTube, please don't forget to hit subscribe. That way you'll stay on top of all of our latest videos and you won't miss a thing. And if you wanna get the full scoop on Nissan's electric feels, make sure you hit the carsguide.com.au website. Now I've gotta say, this is actually pretty exciting stuff. We're among the first people on the planet to drive this car, which has been dubbed the Super Leaf by Nissan staff. First things first then, the addition of a second electric motor does exactly what you think it will do to the power outputs. With this prototype Nissan, now good for 227 kilowatts and 680 newton meters. To put that into perspective, the second generation Leaf, now on sale in Australia, produces 110 kilowatts and 320 newton meters. So we're talking more than double the grunt here. There's new suspension too, as well as some pretty clever changes to the braking and regeneration systems that are designed to give you a smoother, more balanced ride and better performance around corners. Now, while the Leaf is all about the eco-friendliness, this car is all about the performance, with Nissan promising it'll offer acceleration, braking and dynamics on par with modern sports cars. Now, we just did this flat-footed acceleration run in the Leaf and we got to 100 kilometers an hour. So this will be a real test of just how much faster this is. So we'll plan our foot. The takeoff is much, much more powerful. And so while we only got to just over 100 kilometers an hour, so not much more of a top speed, the pickup from launch was much more powerful than the Leaf, which is always a good start. So the twin motors give you more power, of course, but it's not the only change that's been made. There's sportier suspension, but also this independent brake control which is designed to help you with cornering. So we're gonna do, Nissan has very helpfully dampened a bit of a circle here for us to test it. So we're gonna do it three times, one with the braking control on, one with it off, and then with it back on again. So we can really see if we can see a difference. So they've told us just to plan our foot at the cone. And that really, it, it actually holds on surprisingly well. Now I've gotta say that track is very, very, very damp. And it really did hold a line there pretty well, only getting a little bit out of control at the last moment. So now we're gonna turn it off and see if that makes some sort of a difference. So again, we're gonna plan our foot here at the cones. Yeah, that's gone, that's gone straight away. Yeah, so that's a very different experience with it on and off. <laughs> so it definitely makes a difference. And I can tell you, if you're driving a mountain road in the wet, okay. that's a feature you're gonna to wanna to have. So back on, let's see how it handles in the wet here. So we plant our foot at the cones. Yeah, that's a much more controlled experience, isn't it? All right, so if you live anywhere near a winding road and it ever rains, I'm gonna say that's a feature you want. So short answer, it's like a leaf and then some, but it's also a preview to the future of Nissan's EVs including that ARIA concept. Now we should point out here that what we've driven today isn't supposed to be a window into the Leafs future per se, but rather a peek behind the curtain at Nissan's EV tech of tomorrow. That's more than likely gonna take the shape of the ARIA concept that was just revealed at the Tokyo Motor Show and that we know will go into production. We also know that that will offer a dual motor setup under its sleek and stylish skin, not unlike the prototype we've driven today. The whole idea of performance somehow got a little bit lost when Nissan started talking about EVs. But if this thing is anything to go by, the future will be very, very different indeed. In fact, the future will be fun. Now, the final word. Have you hit subscribe yet? If not, you'll miss something and you'll never, ever forgive yourself. And don't forget, carsguide.com.au is where you'll find all the details.